are going to the moon because it's in the nature of human beings. This famous quote was said by none other than Neil Armstrong. Namaste. Welcome. Greetings. We are back again with another of our short documentary today and it's on about the first person to land on the moon, Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong was born on the 5th of September 1930 to Viola Lucy and Stephen Cohen Armstrong at Wapakoneta in Ohio. Neil Armstrong's father, Stephen Cohen Armstrong, worked as an auditor with the Ohio government, hence the family moved 14 times and finally returned to Wapakoneta. During these 14 times movement, Neil Armstrong studied in various schools. Neil Armstrong's love for flying started when he first flew in an airplane with his father. His first ride was from Cleveland Air Base. After training for a few years, Neil Armstrong got his pilot license on his 16th birthday and also completed his first solo flight. In 1947, after passing out school, Neil Armstrong began his college years by starting to study aeronautical engineering at Pudre University in Indiana. Neil Armstrong completed four years of aeronautical engineering study and one year of aviation training and two years of bachelor's Neil Armstrong was inducted into the U.S. Navy on 24th February 1969 as a midshipman. Neil Armstrong was trained at Air Station Corpus Christi, Texas and Penascola, Air Station Florida. He completed his training and graduated on August 23, 1950. After graduating, Neil Armstrong got posted in the Fleet Air Squadron 7 of the U.S. Navy. At the 1950s, the Korean War started when Neil Armstrong participated and made sorties as a recognizance jet. A total of 78 missions were flown by Neil Armstrong during the Korean War. Following this, he was released from active duty and shifted to the reserved group. After serving in the Navy, he returned to Purdue College to continue his studies. In 1955, Neil Armstrong graduated with a Bachelor of Science degrees and completed his Master of Science degrees in Aeronautical Engineering. Neil Armstrong first applied to the NACA for High Speed Flight Station at Edwards Air Force Base, but there was no availability and was sent to Cleveland for a few months. Later, Neil Armstrong was posted at Edwards Air Force Base. Neil Armstrong made seven flights on the X-15 from November 38, 1960 to July 26, 1962. In April 1962, NASA once more opened its door for more young astronauts to be taken in, in for the next Gemini program. This time, selection was opened for civilian test pilots. In 1962, Neil Armstrong attended a space exploration conference. Following this, he was inspired and applied to the NASA on 4th of June 1962. On 13 September, NASA's then flight director, D.K. Salatin, called upon Neil Armstrong and asked if he was interested to join. Neil Armstrong replied, yes, and was taken into NASA. After joining and training in NASA, Neil Armstrong was first appointed for the Gemini 5 mission as a backup astronaut. The Gemini 5 lifted off after a few scrubs and postpones on the 21st of August, while Neil Armstrong and his crewmates watched the launch from the Kennedy Space Center and later flew off.
to the Mission Control back in Houston, Texas. Neil Armstrong's first mission to space was Gemini 8. Neil Armstrong was the commander while David Scott was the pilot in charge. The mission objectives were to dock with an unmanned spacecraft known as the Jena 2 and perform a EVA. The launch took place on March 16, 1966. It was a great achievement for NASA and Neil Armstrong and his crewmates. His next mission was as a backup astronaut, again on the mission of Gemini 11. The launch went as planned on 12 September 1966, and later Neil Armstrong acted as a Capcom on the mission from Mission Control Houston in Texas. A Capcom is the one who communicates between the astronauts and Mission Control in ground. In the whole career of Neil Armstrong, the most important mission was the Apollo 11. History was made by him when he first landed on the moon and which was watched by the whole world. The first time NASA held a meeting was on the 5th of March 1967 on Apollo 11. On 28, on 28 November 1967, NASA selected the astronauts for Apollo 11 mission. Finally, on the 16th of July 1969, the Apollo 11 left it off with Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins from Launch Pad 1 of the Kennedy Space Center. Three days later, on the 28th of July, 1969, the Eagle touched down on the surface of Moon, and Neil Armstrong made history when he said those famous words as he put the first step as a human being on the Moon. under the Apollo program. On the 28th of July 1969, the Eagle touched down at the surface of the moon. And the following day, Neil Armstrong made history when he took the first steps and said his famous word. It was a historic mission where NASA attempted to make humans to land on the moon. And Neil Armstrong made that history by putting the first steps on the moon. Also, in the EVA, he collected samples of rocks and soil from the moon and left a few plaques which were left in the memory of some of the space heroes in those era. After retiring from the Apollo 11 mission, Neil Armstrong didn't plan to fly to space again and retired in 1971. He started to teach in various universities later. Neil Armstrong has received many awards. The following are the list of awards. The Presidential Medal of Freedom, the Congressional Gold Medal, the Congressional Space Medal of Honor, the Explorers Club Medal, the Robert H. Goddard Memorial Trophy, the NASA Distinguished Service Medal, the Harman International Aviation Trophy, the Royal Geographic Society's Gold Medal, the Federation Aeronautic International A's Gold Space Medal, the American Astronaut Astronautical Society's Flight Achievement Award, the Robert J. Collier Trophy, the AIAA Astronautics Award, the Octave Trinity Award, the John J. Montgomery Award.
2012, Neil Armstrong died at his home at the age of 82. Then President of the United States of America, Barack Obama, described Neil Armstrong as among the greatest of American heroes, not just of all his times, but of all time. Neil Armstrong is regarded as a space hero who was the first person to land on the moon and will be always remembered for the first steps taken onto the moon's surface and for those famous words when he landed on the moon. One small step for man is one giant leap for mankind. For these words, Neil Armstrong will be remembered and for the historic achievement he had done. He will be always remembered. watching this documentary. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Enjoy the last minute views of the ocean and goodbye. Goodbye.